indeed does answer prayer. There's no prayer you pray that God does not answer. As you have prayed, God has answered. But I'm saying that if I don't receive, there must be something in the way. And it's not to do with God. So God has answered. If I don't receive the answer, it has nothing to do with God. The thing is that all the prayers we have prayed this morning, from the word for the nation, for Pastor Taiwo, for Fountain London, for Fountain Worldwide, for our individual selves, God has answered it. He has answered all of them. But if for any reason we are not seeing those answers, it has nothing to do with God. Praise the Lord. It's either there's something that got in the way, either me or the enemy. Praise the Lord. So my question this morning to all of us is what is it that will enable us to receive our answers? What is it that will enable us to receive these answers? Let's call on to me and I'll answer you. And I will show you great and unsearchable things. Great and mighty things, depending on the translation, which you do not know, which you have not known. I will open your eyes to it. I will show you. But before we begin to discuss that and come, I just want to clear some foundational issues. I just want to sort something out. First thing I said is that God answers as soon as he hears. But the answer might be delayed. Remember Daniel? He prayed. And he was waiting three weeks. He was said he was in, the Bible says he was in one fasting and mourning actually. And then he now met this angel appeared to him. And he was shaking, and you know all the whole story. But the guy said, As soon as you prayed, I was sent to come and deliver the answer. Remember, Daniel was asking, Daniel had a dream. Daniel had a dream. And he needed to understand the interpretation of that dream. He knew that dream was of vital importance, but he was waiting for the interpretation. He had prayed for it and it hadn't come. So this man came, you know, in all his shining glory and all his power. But he said that as soon as I came to give you the answer, but the prince of Persia stood in my way. He needed help. So he said, I sent Angel Gabriel. There was, Angel Gabriel now started fighting the Prince of Persia so this man could stop the fight and come and deliver the answer to Daniel. Sometimes it could be us that would hinder it. In 1 Peter 3, 7, Peter warns husbands. He says, look, treat your wives carefully so that your prayers will not be hindered. It means that prayers can be hindered. There might be something that stops your prayers from reaching the intended goal. Praise the Lord. In Mark 11, 25 to 26, that one I would like us to read. Or just take, it, take a note of it and get ready. It talks about if you say to this mountain, move and all that. But it says that when you stand praying, you must do what? Forgive. Hallelujah. You must do what? Forgive. You must forgive. You can't hold resentment. You can't hold anger. You can't hold, you know, you, you can't hold somebody in unforgiveness. You can't do all that and pray. They would block. Your prayers can't get anywhere. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. You see, the children of Israel were in captivity when God said this. He says, if you seek me wholeheartedly, I will be found by you. God says, the plans I have for you, they are of good. Even though they were in captivity, he was telling them, you need to know who I am. My plans for you are plans for good, to bring you to a future, to bring you to a good place. See, God did not forget his people, even though they were captives in Babylon. He planned to give them a new beginning with a new purpose, to turn them into a new people. In times of deep trouble, it may appear as though God has forgotten you, but that is not the case. 
He may be preparing you, just as he did the people of Israel in that time, for a new beginning with him at the center. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God's plan is always wise. He's a wise God.